high vibes everybody uh, I just wanted to get on here today and make a video to basically explain the ego so I've ex explained on other videos you know how the, you can learn from your ego and how your ego tries to manipulate you and stuff but I haven't really went into what is the ego now this is going to be something that you're going to keep doing and keep searching on to get a better understanding of your ego but I just want to give you guys you know a base understanding of what the ego is so let's go ahead and get into it um basically there's well in order to explain the ego i have to explain the different areas of yourself so you know we we you know i always talk about the trinity spirit mind and body you know three parts you know and we are the spiritual beings and then you have your, your mind and your body that is also here as well that you know you interact with and you actually use while you're here you know it's a tool for you to use while you're here and your ego is attached to your mind it's attached to that mental state because whenever you start to do something your ego comes in it's pulling your thoughts it's pulling your mental strings and it's trying to get you off of your path and off of the the path that you've set out to do in this path that spirit has out for you but so your ego is a mechanism that was actually built in that was originally for defense now when i say defense is um you know if you think back to ancient times uh, we didn't have all this technology and different uh, structures you know buildings and houses and stuff like that in order to make sure we're safe we were out in nature along with all the other animals we were we were along the food chain with everything else so our ego was there in order to let you know if you were in danger to know if something was deceiving you to let you know when you needed to you know get that extra boost of adrenaline or an extra boost to do whatever you needed to do your ego was there as a pre-warning system it would let you know like you would be walking and the next you know your ego would activate and basically let you know like hey there's an animal around or hey there's another tribe around that you know means you harm or is that you know that you could be in danger right now be more alert it was an early warning system to let you know what was going on and and people used to be more in tune with that they used to be more balanced with it they used to be able to see you know how the ego uh, would protect them and they were able to differentiate you know their thoughts from their ego's thoughts because the ego is actually working with them now with all the different you know television and different uh, programming that goes on in today's society you know the ego has been changed it's that it has running off of a different program now it's there to try to get you incited to get you worked up and riled up about things you know the ego wants you to you know buy into those mental and physical desires because you know that helps it out the more that you're tuned into that mental and physical the more that you're actually going to be doing more of that mental and physical and less of your spiritual work and when you're not doing your spiritual work you still have that energy so now your ego can use that energy to use um, whatever it wants to do whatever it's thinking that it needs to do and sometimes it can even trick you because you know you do have those physical desires and those mental desires that you want to keep doing and that you want to keep your, your practices up on so your ego will try to go in with those mental and physical desires that you might want but you know you don't need you know it might be something that you want but you don't actually need right now it's not a necessity but for the ego it's going to make it your priority now because it wants you to be more in tune to that it wants you to be able to go out here and rile up other people like you see it every day with everybody uh, fighting each other and getting into arguments really for no reason it's because both of your egos are now having a battle because your ego wants you to be the biggest best the baddest you know strongest whatever you know and i'm not saying that you can't you know be the strongest or whatever you know i'm just saying that the ego wants you to basically be like you're better than everybody else you're on top of the world you're that one that's, that's better than everyone when we're all the same you know we, we might be at different mental and physical and spiritual levels but we're all the same we're, we're all we're all the same we're all doing the same thing pretty much just going about it differently and seeing it from the different perspectives so when your ego comes in it wants you to be like no everybody's perspective is wrong only your perspective is right but when you even think about that, how else are you going to learn? How else are you supposed to go out here and do the things that you want to do to do the things that you need to do if your ego is actually stopping you from doing these things? So you can't let your ego get in the way of doing the practices that you want to do every day. And your ego will. And when I say ego, I'm not. Um, that's really just a term 
that most people use for it. you know it's really just an energy that's within you and a, and a certain certain mental state that that's within you that help that ties into everything you know when you say you're connected to everything remember first and foremost you're connected to everything within yourself so your ego is connected to you while you're here your ego is there um, to do certain things but since it's been reprogrammed is there to do different things now now you can start getting riled up your ego will start to flare out on other people to start making you doubt things and start making you want to argue with people when that's not what we're here to do we're not here to be arguing and and fighting and doing all that unless you know there are those times where you might have to because your ego is there to be like okay you know this is a physical threat I need to go ahead and take care of that threat now but for the most part that's not even the case so with with that energy that's within you you know it wants to be able to control different things so that you can get more physical and mental and mental power it wants you to have more of that because it will have more of that it'll have more access and if you're not doing your spiritual practices then it's going to start taking control and it's going to start making you do things that you never even wanted to do making you do things that you didn't want to do you know so you have to be aware of where your ego is and how it's interplaying with everything and and I made a video on discerning your voice from the ego's voice that you can check that out but you basically you need to be able to see the difference between where your thoughts are coming from and then where your ego's thoughts are coming from now this voice is going to be very simple similar and I say voice because that's how I perceive it but you know everybody has their different perceptions of, about it and how they interact with it and how they communicate with their ego but it's going to be very similar to the way you would uh, think or the way you would talk because it is a part of you so those base programs that you've been built into you are built into it so that it can know how to manipulate you and how to turn you to do different things and also to let you know when you're in danger its original purpose even though that has been changed and has been perverted and to from what it originally was you know it still does have those functions if you know how to use it right that's why you have to be able to tame your ego you have to be able to stop your ego from taking the control of from you when you really want to go out and do something your ego is going to try to stop you but you need to be able to understand what your ego is where your ego is coming from in order to understand it you have to get to know it because you've got to get to know your physical and mental desires and the things that you want because your ego will try to change it so you if you know exactly what your physical mental and spiritual desires are then you will know how those ego strings are being pulled how your ego is being manipulated how it's trying to change everything that's around you how you're going to be able to you know overcome it and tame it and make it so where it now works for you the way it's supposed to not you working for it it's because once you get to a certain point your ego can be very powerful you know just as powerful as you are your ego is just as powerful you know as within so without you know as above so below as light as dark you know the duality of everything the duality that we have in the system that we're in so you have to be able to see where all your base desires are coming from because those base desires is also where your ego comes from and it, and it wants those base desires and as you start to rise up and change and raise up in consciousness and change your perception on things you know your ego's perception pretty much doesn't change you know it will change how it interacts with you but its perception is not going to change because that is an ego mindset that is the way it was programmed that's the way it's going to be unless you go in and, and take the time to go within and truly go within I mean like when you're meditating and everything you know really going in and seeing the different areas of yourself and exploring it so that you're able to do all the things that you want to do so you're able to overcome those things that are stopping you go overcome the things that are trying to hinder you or block you from doing what you need to do so pretty much I just want to make sure that you guys understand you know what the ego is you know and you're gonna to have to do more research on it and inner search and outer search on it because this is very basic you know because it can get a lot deeper and that's for you to do that's that's one of the things on your spiritual path that's one of the goals that you that you should be attaining toward and I'm not saying that everybody's going to be able to do it because it's going to be different for everybody but that is one thing that you should be working toward is being able to tame your ego and be able to you know control it in the way and I and I'm not saying like actually control it but have it to where it's not in control you know because control uh, matter of fact I'm not going to get into that that'll be for another video but you don't <clears throat> want that um, to have that control of your ego 
you know, because once that ego takes control, then you're going to start giving it to all those base desires, all those things that you know you're not supposed to do, those things that you're like, you know what, I shouldn't have did that, or I shouldn't have been speaking like that, or I didn't even mean that. You know, those are the things that the ego tries to do for you, and that you really need to stop and, and you know, be able to observe and actually tame it and stop it from doing those things. And once you're able to do that, then you'll start seeing, okay, when is it an actual threat? When is it actually something that I need to be paying attention to? Because just because you want to stop your ego, I'm not saying kill your ego. You know, people talk about ego death, completely get rid of your ego. But why would you get rid of an early warning system and something that's a part of you that's there to help? You know, it is there to help, but now it's doing different things. It actually thinks that it's there to help doing all those other things, which is another perception that it has. So when you start to observe it, then you'll be able to further go in and see where it is coming from and see what you need to do in order to actually change, you know, how you perceive your ego. Because once your perception of your ego changes, that's when you're able to do more things. That's when you're able to stop those limiting factors, stop those limiting mindsets. But that's pretty much all I wanted to get on here and talk about today. So just you know, do your own inner search and really do that inner search to find out about your ego. Because once you're able to do that, that's going to lead to more things. That's going to lead to more, more stuff that you can do, more stuff that you can overcome. Because you won't be limited anymore. You won't have that limited mindset. You'll be able to change it and change your perception on everything. But that's about all I wanted to say. So, you know, peace in and out. My full love and, of course, my gratitude.